What's going on guys? It's your boy 828 and we're back with another video. And um today we got a special unboxing. Uh something that's been I told you guys that I was going to purchase these but uh <laughs> just had to put these off for a while, but um today we'll, I'll be sharing with you guys an unboxing of my Bull Klipsch R115 SWs. These are the current flagship subwoofers offered by Klipsch. Um, and these things are huge. Uh, these things uh, weigh uh, about almost 90 pounds each. And uh, I'll show you where I got this from before we unbox it. So let me show you all where I got this from. I got these from my friends at Acoustic Sound Design. This, this video was not sponsored by them. Like I said, I usually buy all my all my speakers from them, and the reason these guys are authorized dealers, um, you do you get your uh, your five year warranty from Klipsch if you buy these from them. So make sure you buy these from them and not eBay. A lot of these uh, people reselling them, they void the warranty, they scratch out the the serial numbers. So just to make sure you guys. So and like I said, uh, I got these from them. These will run you about 899 bucks, but I got them for a cheaper price because I had some issues with some stuff that I had ordered previously, so I got them for a cheaper price than that. But let's see what else. Uh, these are a 15 inch spun copper ceramic woofers. All digital amplifier delivers 800 watts of dynamic power. Front firing slot port with exclusive internal flare technology. LR line level RCA inputs for compatibility with most receivers for a simple wireless connection. They also have a wireless subwoofer kit. Shows you the dimension and it's a brushed black polymer, polymer veneer cabinet with satin painted plinth. Which I don't know what that means. <laughs> you got your frequency, frequency response, your maximum acoustic output, 122 dBs. Amplifiers all digital. 400 watts RMS, 800 watts peak, and just uh, you know, if you want to read any more of this shit, just pause the video. You can you know read it for yourself. But uh, these are the boxes right here. Like I said, these things are massive. These weighed about, like I said, 90 pounds. I have both of them right here. So I'm gonna pause the video and uh, I'll get these in box so you guys can see what comes in the boxes um, I will not be playing any music because I mean it's really pointless you know YouTube you can't really tell sound quality so pause the video get these things in box and we'll check these out all right guys so we got the subwoofers in boxed and uh, I'll go show you guys what comes in the in the box and uh, pretty much that's about it but first thing that comes in it is uh got your usual Harry Potter instructions uh, the keepers of the sound it's just an instruction book and uh, some other warranty information you get in here and also on the book it shows you how you should set up your speakers and um, you know how to go about it but that's about it. it also comes with the power cord to hook up to the subwoofer and uh, that's pretty much about it for that there's nothing you know nothing special in it like I said before you could also buy a wireless kit for these so that way you don't have to have it hooked up to the amplifier so if you could go that route as well but I'm not gonna do that and uh, you also got your grill cover I really don't use these um, I don't have any kids so I don't really have to worry about the speakers getting touched or anything but if I do have some company and I know they're gonna have kids over I'll put these babies on the only thing I don't really like about these is that the studs to put the the, the grill on are on the speaker on the rest of the speakers like the RF7s and the center and the bookshelves the studs are on the cover itself which is better I really don't like these on here but I mean they could break either way if you have them on here or other hand but that's about it and uh, as you can see you got your 15 inch or metallic woofer you got your air port on the bottom. I actually really like that. I like the ports on the on the front. Some people don't. As you know, it's personal choice. I really like it. 
and uh, I mean it's really simple from the front and this is what they were talking about I forgot what they call this but it's like a, kind of feels like a brushed a brushed uh, veneer kind of it's not real wood so I don't think this is wood and another thing I kind of didn't like is uh, I was watching the CES and on the new RF7s see if I can get this thing to focus oh. I guess the new RF7s will be coming out with brand new R115 SWs, but the version that comes out with the new RF7 threes will be made out of wood. So I'm kind of disappointed, you know, that, I mean, in a way I'm disappointed because I would have liked to have matching uh, wood subwoofers with my RF7s. And uh, here on the back, let's see if I get this thing in focus. You got your on, off, and auto switch. So you usually just put it on auto, turn on with your, your amplifier. You got your phase, zero to 160, your low low pass, 40 hertz, up to 120 hertz. And you got your main, your your gain, your minim, minimum, and up to 11, it goes up to 11. Then you got your line end, your right, and your L, left, your LFE your WA port and this is also pretty nice for all those people that live in Europe you could actually switch this up to 100, 240 volt or 20 volt you just flip the switch right here and then you just got your power so that's about it I mean there's not much to it like I said it's a really really nice speaker and I'll show you the other one I already set up the other one so we got the other one already connected and for anyone wondering what kind of cables I'm using, uh, let me see if I find out where is it at. It should be right here. Okay. I know I got a mess. I need to get all this. But I'm using. Let's see right here. Focus. If I could get it to focus. Ah, jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm using the Media Bridge subwoofer cables. Uh, these will run you about. I got the. I think I got the 16 foot. But uh, these will run you about. I paid around 16 bucks for both of them. And I guess you can run these in the wall as well. So if you do want to run these in the wall, these have actually really, really good. Uh, feedback on it there was a lot of people you know that really like these and I had actually bought this before and uh, you know just don't go and start spending on you know monster cables and, and basically most of them all do the same this is insul uh, it's, it's insulated uh, I forgot what it's insulated with but it was really you know it was really good from what I read reviews and whatnot it's really great great quality subwoofer cable to connect to your amp so that's about it and um, I guess I'll pause the video and I, I can show you guys the setup the full complete setup like I said I'm finally done I was trying to get a 7.2 system and these subwoofers finally completed it for me and uh, you know we'll just go I'll pause the video and then um, pause the video then I'll show you guys all the speakers. I'll push this back into place, and I won't. I won't turn them on. You won't get to hear the good quality of the sound. But you know, if you guys got any comments or questions on the rest of them, or you know where you can find most of these speakers, you know, just leave it down in the comment section. But like I said, I'm pause the video. Be back. All right. So I got all this connected. I got all the speakers connected. And um, <clears throat> before I start, before anybody starts messaging me asking me why did I buy these subwoofers. That I could have got some SVS uh, PB13s or the new 16. Yeah, I could have gone that way. I could have got a lot more expensive subwoofers. But I'll tell you this: I mean, if you go and buy these right now, you're gonna spend 1,800 bucks. I saved me about 600, a little over 600 bucks. You know, buying both of these from the person I bought them from, from the dealer. So I saved me some money on that. And a PB13 will run you about two grand. I think that's what I, I think that's what the price was. Uh, the new 16 will run me way more than that. And to be honest, I don't really want to spend that much. Plus, 
I wanted it to look aesthetically pleasing, so that's why I bought both of these. You know, I wanted to have the whole reference line set up. And I also got the bookshelves back here. And before anybody asks me, yes, I'm switching the bookshelves with the surrounds. I'll eventually move those. I'll switch them out over. But uh, like I said, uh, I'll, I'll go. I'll go show you guys the whole thing. These are the RB81 twos. Like I said, there's videos on them. These actually have the eight-inch cone woofers, and you got the RS62 twos, which these are really hard to find and come by. There's some people that message me, where did I get these from? I actually bought these, I think, off of eBay. They were brand new when I purchased them, but they are actually really hard to come by just for the fact that they don't make them anymore. They're discontinued. I don't know if Klipsch will make a new, you know, updated version for these or the bookshelves because they have not come out with it. eight inch bookshelves or six inch surrounds, dual surrounds. And then I'm running, you know, my RF-72s, my RC-64-2. And like I said, they are actually making a new version for this. Uh, the new RF-73s will have a new RC-64-3 and then they will have their own their own matching pair of subwoofers, the RF-115s, but with wood, real wood veneer. And um, as my amp, I'm running a 7.2 Pioneer uh, Elite SC91. Like I said, I also made a, a video on this as well. And it's a really good amp. It has 4K high resolution audio. Um, yeah, there is better. And I'm um, <laughs> running my little fans up here. Cool down the unit, which I really don't need, but... That's about it guys. This is the whole setup done for the basement. I will be purchasing some more clips, so maybe some RP RF two eighties. The so the new two eighties. I'll be purchasing those, putting those in the you know, in the bedroom. But if you guys got any questions or comments or any suggestions for me, uh, I will be looking for a new TV. I'll be looking for a seventy five inch four K. I'm thinking about going with Sony, so if you guys got any suggestions of what I should add to my system, what I you know should I do just let me know down in the comment section and i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time guys peace